I live in Kings Creek, South Carolina. I like to spend time with my family. Well, I like to do when I grow up. I'm getting really tall, so I was thinking about playing basketball, and then I'm going to be a guitar player, then an artist. I didn't know I had asthma until I couldn't breathe. I met Tayana um, in 2016. She was only six years old, and she's still just as adorable as she was then. Um, she had had some uh, severe issues with asthma prior to me starting to follow her, and she'd been seen in the emergency department for asthma. And this particular day, she had come down with cold symptoms, and the school nurse recognized that she was wheezing significantly. So she talked to the parent and got a consent form signed, and we then were able to evaluate Tiana through our telehealth equipment right there in the school. So when we connect with the provider, you know, Kelly usually talks to them about, you know, what they're feeling, what kind of symptoms they're having, just catching up because we've seen these kids for so many years that there is a little catching up, a personal level to it. And then we will listen to their heart and lungs and whatever I can hear and listen to, Kelly can hear and listen also. Really, it's just the same as being in an actual doctor's visit. I'm just the hands of the provider that's on the screen. Okay. Miss Kelly, me and her, every time I come to her to um, come to see her on the um, telehealth computer, we always um, do my lungs and stuff, and they always check my ears and see if I'm doing good and stuff. And we always go over with my inhaler. Now, as I began to get to know Tiana and learn about her history and talk with her family, I learned that she'd really been having a lot of trouble with asthma. So she was waking up at night with wheezing. She was having trouble um, when she was exerting herself. And so I was able to work um, with her to get her asthma under control by adding a daily controller medication. And through our program, we're able to follow her more closely and have continued to follow her since that time. What's been really neat is that we've been able to really build a strong relationship through the telehealth. She hasn't been back to the emergency room since before we started following her, which is a huge win. But more importantly, she's healthy, she's happy, she's able to interact and do all the things that she would love to do. <laughs> it's exciting because every time I see her, I just feel so exciting all the time. And I, like they say, every time I go, and come see her when they um, put the audio on and I start jumping up and down and start touching stuff because I was really excited. What I learned about from the school nurse and Miss Kelly is it's important for me to take my asthma pump every morning. Sometimes I go out the door and play with my sister, Mariah. We run around the house, play hide and seek. Sometimes when I start running, I can't catch my breath. That's why I come in the, in the house and tell my auntie, so I'm going to take a pump of my red inhaler because I can't catch my breath. I've been in practice for over 25 years and I love what I do. I will say that this program has um, been the most rewarding of all of my positions over the years. And I can't tell you how special it is to have a family say things like, you've changed my child's life. I never knew that he or she could be this healthy before. Many times there's a misperception with asthma that, so that people think because they have asthma, they're always going to have problems or they're not going to be able to do a sport or sing in the choir or whatever it might be. But when we spend time with the families, educating the family and the student on their asthma care, get their asthma under good control, there's absolutely no reason they can't be able to do all of the things that their friends and peers are doing. Sometimes I like to do our fist pound um, thing that we um, did. She taught me how to do that when I was in Anderson. We were doing the fist pound thing first and then we were doing the little explosion thing. If I tell her something, I will say thank you, Miss Kelly, for helping me with my, my heller and my asthma.